Okay, what I'm going to be showing you to you here is a 2014 to 2016 Ford Explorer. There's an issue with the seat belt connectors for the second row seating. I'm going to go through this TSB real quick. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm going to take you out to the customer's vehicle and show you there's a couple options here. This article will talk about a 14 to 16 Explorer with the codes B141B and B141C. They want you to disconnect the battery, fold both of the second row seats down to gain access to the connectors, which is connector C3133 and C134. I'll show you which ones those are. Remove the seat bottom covers from both sides. Refer to the workshop manual. I'll actually show you exactly what's going on, and um, we'll actually we'll go from there. Um, on the left side, disconnect the connectors and remove the connector and wiring harness push pin from its mounting on the seat frames on both sides follow seat harness locate the harness retaining push pin and remove it from the bottom of its mounting now this is a white push pin underneath the connector now if you follow this here there's a push pin here there's a push pin and here there's a push pin i know they want you to remove that for for things to loosen up a little bit really the problem is here and here there's too much stress on this curve right here so in a pinch when we haven't been able to get the wiring harness right away i've unconnected this connector popped it out right there popped it out right there gave it some uh get or give it some looseness so it, it was free cleaned everything dielectric greased and put it all back together this tension right here pulls on this so much the connector that comes this way and plugs into it it's pulling on it all the time and it doesn't leave a good connection so this here and this here i've undid them brought them down unplugged everything cleaned them out with some electrical cleaner, dried it out, and then re dielectric grease and put it all back together. And before this TSB even came out, I would do that, clean everything, put it together, and the light would never come back on again. Now, according to this, what Ford wants you to do is they want you to pull this pin out, this pin out, this behind this tape, this pin out, and then get rid of this tape right here on that end so the wires are more free. And then uh, let's continue reading. Remove the seat bottom covers from the sides on the left and the right. On both sides, follow the seat harness. Locate the next harness retaining push pin and remove it from its mounting position to allow for the harness, allow for more movement. Cut and discard the protruding end of the push pin. That's the pin that I told you that goes in here. They want the pins removed from it. On the male side of the connectors where the wiring harness is taped to the harness push pin, re pin retainers, remove the retaining tape harness and push pin and discard the push pin. So any of these pins they want you to get rid of. That's those, that's those plastic pieces that push inside the metal. If you look on here, on the passenger side, take the connector and route the seat harness to the other side of the black bar. So they want you to remove this harness from this side and move it to this side over here so it's more free. So that's what they're showing you here. They remove the pins, they pull it out, they pull it back over the bar, and they dropped it down. Now if you see here, in this, in this picture, it's on the other side of the bar, and they are moving it, you know, obviously over here, more towards, uh, away from the original position. Cut the wires for the female connector C3134 and replace them with a new wiring pigtail. Make sure to replace only the length of wire removed from the harness. Uh, you know what, that, that may be necessary, but I don't find that that's actually the answer to this all the time. Um, I've had, I've replaced these and they come right back because of the, so much tension. You know, and then before this TSB came out, I'd put a pigtail on it. It, it, it would leave for a little bit and come right back. The connector itself, I don't really believe, and this is just in my honest opinion. You can draw this, you can draw this up however you want. I don't honestly believe that that's the fix. The fix is it's got so much tension on that harness, it's make a ba making a bad connection. Now, you can do what you want. I mean, I follow the TSB when it's under warranty. But a lot of times I recommend the customer, let me go in there real quick and pop them pins out. Let me pull that back over the bar and uh, clean everything and put it back together. Let's see if the light comes back on and not one single time has it come back on. After you replace the C13, C1, C3134, replace them with a new pigtail. Make sure to replace only the length of wire removed. Okay, so solder everything in. On the male side, create a 15 to 20 millimeter, half to three quarter inch loop with a wiring harness and secure the harness to the connector. So basically they're saying on the female side, 
cut that off, splice in a new pigtail, and just mount this up somewhere as it's connected. Reconnect the connector, relatch the connector to the seat mounting, and the existing push pin, and proceed to step 10. On both passenger driver's seat, take the connectors and route the harness to the other side of the black vertical bar. So we're gonna go right back to the whole same thing again. Let's just go out here, let's show you, let me show you what this is. Let me show you a couple of options. I'll show you the option right now, which is this vehicle is not under warranty anymore. Let me go wash my hands real quick. I'm gonna set this phone down, we'll be right back. Before we get started, here is the wiring assembly FU2Z14S411RA. That's the pigtail. And it pays 2.8 hours to do it. Now let's get down here into the connectors. If I can. Now, I've got the seat down already. You pull this strap back here. Sometimes it can be tricky to get it up. But because I've already had it up, it's not going to give me any problem. Now if you have a hard time getting these seats up, what you'll have to do is you'll have to keep pulling on the strap here and pushing down on the other side. This, a lot of people when I see them open these seats, they like to pull out, but but they're pulling out, but they're pulling more up than anything. That doesn't do it. It's got to be straight out. So here or here to get that up. I pull this, but I pull straight back if I can, which you're going to probably hit the plastic down here. Now let's look at what we got going on. There's your connector right there. They want you to undo all this stuff back inside here. And they want you to remove they want you to remove this here this white clip back here I don't see the need for that I absolutely do not see the need for that and this doesn't have that big bar right there anyway so what I've done is I unhooked this from the mounting surface down there I took the clip there was a clip here. I pulled it out completely. Now it's loose. Got a lot of room. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to let this connector actually sit down here. Now probably... It's got plenty of room not tight anymore all I did was eliminate one of the connectors and then put it back together that's all I did and then on this side over here same thing that's your C C3133 and this is your C3134 or vice versa it doesn't really matter they're they're addressed the same way I did that one by the handle. Same thing here. I pulled the, the top clip here out so I can have some tension on it. Pull it apart, clean it up, put it all back together. This one has the bar. See the bar here? They want that connector on the opposite side of that bar. The other one doesn't have the bar, only this one does. So basically what you'd do is you'd take this here, you'd unclip it, you'd reroute it to the opposite side of the bar. You get rid of this clip. This there's a white clip up here. You get rid of it. So let's get rid of that. Let me see if I can see. Yeah, it's right behind that. Let me see if I can get that out of there. How you take this bottom cover off is you just unclip this black plastic piece here from up here, and it just drops down.
and then they would want you to pull this back you can see here where that connector is at I'll cut that nipple off they want you to have it on this side of the black bar and then they want you to resecure it up after you get it pulled back through which here goes down this comes back up here like so now you've got this connector you've got this connector out I'd be apt to put it back in just in case just like clean it out, dielectric grease it, put it all back together, or take it out, leave it out. It's fine either way. It ain't, you ain't gonna hurt nothing by leaving this out. It doesn't move around that much. These are for the people that wanna fix these old ones that aren't on the warranty, don't have a ton of, a ton of money to spend on them. This is how I would do it if it wasn't under warranty. Now, if it's under warranty, I'm going to do what the TSB says just because I'm, that's what I have to do. I don't find that that's actually the case. I find that location, relocating that wire and taking the stress off how it's being pulled. So that right now it's really, really loose. There's no stress on it. The other way, there's a lot of stress on it. That's my fix for this, guys. Thank you. Be blessed.